What is going on everybody? This is Seven or Jake and today I have some more Need for Speed Heat gameplay for you. Today I thought it would be a fun idea to go buy a Lamborghini Huracan and you know put a V8 in it because that seems to be what everybody's doing nowadays. Um, I'm not gonna throw any names out there. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, I figured that'd be a cool little idea to do is throw a V8 in a Huracan and uh, see how fast we can make it. Um, I know they come, I believe on this game they're V10s. Um, I guess we'll see in a second, but I'm going to head over to the dealership before I uh, ramble on for too long about it. Um, I don't know my way around this map very well yet, so don't judge me for having to use the you know GPS to get me over there. Alright, so we're over at the dealership. It's time to waste my money on something I'm probably never going to use. I'm probably just going to sell back and lose a lot of money <laughs> on it. Um, I got about 700,000 right now. Um, I'm almost max rank actually, which is pretty cool. Um, I, I should have had that last night, but I just got too lazy and ended up going to bed really early. Um, where's the Lamborghini? Uh, I do want to do a GTR swap with something um, or a Porsche. I, I don't exactly know what I want to do yet So leave that down below in the comments of what I should do um, and what car I should do something with All right, so here we got the Lamborghini Huracan. I believe it's a 2018 Yes, it is. All right, so we're just gonna go big and uh, you know buy that We'll drive it over to the garage. I will see you when we get there. Alright, so we're back at our garage now. Um, what my plan is, is I'm going to put a V8 in it and add as much performance parts as I possibly can to get it to what I can. Um, yeah, it comes with a 5.2 liter V10. Um, we're going to throw a 6.2 liter V8 in it. Um, and we can go up to 1,239 horsepower, a little more horsepower than the stock V10 engine comes. Um, you know, I would actually... Uh, no, there's no reason to put... No, that's just more, and I can get more power out of the 6.2. So I think we're just going to go spend the money on that, put the V8 in it. Um, I do want to hear how this sounds. I hope it sounds nasty. Um, let's, let's check this out real quick. It's not as you know <laughs> crazy as you'd expect it to be, but it does sound pretty good. Um, we're going to mess with the exhaust note here first before we do anything else, just to see if we can get something out of it. Um, I do have a method to how I tune the exhaust note to all my cars. Um, you could just you know copy it if you want. Um, I basically use the same thing on all my cars and they always come out sounding pretty ridiculous. Um, with that stock, it just sounds like uh, any other car aggressive that does sound pretty pretty nasty though um, we're gonna add a custom tone to it all the way up oh yeah now you get that real like <laughs> v8 idle that just sounds nasty it sounds cammed actually it sounds like it's got some pretty decent sized cams in there uh, we're gonna turn the overrun all the way up so we get some more pops and backfires out of it as we're decelerating yeah and then I usually go up about five on the pipe resonance because metallic, it sounds disgusting on most cars. And without it, it just doesn't sound, you know, as aggressive as it could sound. So, you know, I always put it there. Um, we're going to take that and uh, we're going to shut the car off. Um, I wonder if there's any body customization that I can really do. I'm going to add a... Yeah. Uh, no, those are ugly. Uh, there's a front bumper though. Okay, okay. I think we might do a little customization on this as well. Um, cause front looks pretty nice stock. These are some ugly ass bumpers. Um, I don't know which one I want to go with more. I think this one looks pretty mean, but I don't like the canards on it. Um, so we're just going to go with this. Um, I can add a splitter, which is cool. I'm not a huge fan of splitters, to be honest with you. Front or back. Um, but they do have the Liberty Walk one, which I think I might end up going with that. Yeah, I think we're just going to stick with that. Can you... Oh, you can get a custom hood. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> There's basically... Well, I mean, the engine's in the back. That's just the trunk, pretty much. Uh, no, I think we're just going to stick with the stock. Um, headlights, 
you already know how we have to do that. We gotta black them out. That just looks beautiful. Um, I don't know. I might might put some my favorite rims. Uh, where are they? I think I already passed them. Yeah, I think these are yeah the 3ds or 3sdm 3.41 fr. Uh, I I believe those are the wheels. I yeah those are. Throw those on there. Um, turn up the size. And we are going to put stretched tires over them. Um, I put the proxies on it usually. Uh, where are they? Toyo tires. Yeah, they're there. I like the stretch look on the Lamborghinis. It, it looks beautiful. Uh, I'm not going to worry about calipers and all that right now. Honestly, I, I could care less. All right. Let's make the tire size bigger on the back. And then same with the wheels here. Stretched Toyota tire proxies. Uh, you can change your exhaust. These all look hideous. I think we're just gonna stick with the stock exhaust. I think they're burnt tip, I believe. Looks like it. I do really like this carbon fiber back end. Like it, it looks, it looks mean. I don't know. I do like the stock look, but this looks aggressive as hell. So I think we're just gonna stick with that. Um, trunk. Oh, okay, cool. I I like this a lot, but I also like. Nah, I think we're gonna stick with this. And I'm not a fan of wings, to be honest. That looks like the Corvette wing. Uh, but I think we are going to throw something on there just to have something. Um, the Speed Hunters one looks pretty nice. So does the Mansa. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this. I'd, I don't like huge wings at all. It just looks disgusting and unnecessary to me. Obviously, everybody has their own preference. And so we're going to go with the all black uh, taillights. Because there's no other way to go. Oh, you can do fenders too. Oh, we can do the Liberty Walk wide body. All right. I like it. I think we're just going to wide body it then. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, there's no question about it. You kind of have to. Um, what can we do with the mirrors? Uh, I do like these mirrors. I think I'm going to buy them. Normally, I don't buy mirrors because they always look disgusting on, you know, any of the cars. But I think we're just going to buy them. And that's pretty much it for the customization. For a Lamborghini, that actually had a lot of customization options available for it, which is weird. Um, and then obviously we're going to drop the ride height as low as we can get it. Um, I am going to buy air ride for it. Yeah, that gets extremely low. So we will put that on there. Um, I don't care for underglow. I think that just looks, you know, a little unnecessary. Um, some cars can rock it, you know, you're trying to be funnier, and, you know, just looking cool, but... For the most part, I, I I couldn't care less. Um, I'll worry about paint later. For right now, we're gonna go with the performance as high as I can possibly go until I'm out of money, I guess. Um, it only took me probably half an hour at most to get all the money I had, so I'm not even worried about it. I'll just make it back. What do we get for horsepower gains? 72 horsepower for uh, the Elite Plus crankshaft. All right, and Elite Plus ECU, we go up another 74, we're at 606. Hoping we're at least in the 1,000 horsepower range. That would be pretty cool. Um, we're almost pushing 700 right now. I'm almost out of money, actually, so that's not good. Um, probably going to run out of money before we get to max this thing out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, we got to go with the big turbo. Yeah, we're already hitting a thousand horsepower with this. Um, nitrous, uh, I don't really care. Just leave that stock for the most part. Um, we might put the big tanks on there at some point. And then for suspension, I think I'm just going to go with showcase suspension. Because even when the air ride is on, it still gives a decent ride height. Yeah, it doesn't really change much. And that car sounds absolutely mean. Uh, we're gonna add, uh, I don't know. I always throw either showcase or on-road tires because I don't take this car off-road, obviously. I wouldn't take it off-road. Um, hmm, I don't, I don't know, that's a tough one. 
Mm. I would put race tires. I think we're just gonna throw on road tires on it for now. Can always change those later. Um, clutch. Um, yeah, we'll just go with the Elite Plus clutch. Why not? Gearbox. Um, you know, an eight speed. Might as well get a little extra, you know, speed out of the car. So right now we're sitting at 1,020 horsepower out of 1,239. Um, zero to 60 is 2.43 seconds. Um, we got 856 foot-pounds of torque, and our top speed is 222 miles per hour. I'm not sure what that converts to in kilometers, as I'm an American. Um, our differential, um, I will probably most likely just end up going with... Uh, that really drops down our... Not too much, but uh, we might go with uh, track differential. Yeah, we'll go with track, although we're not necessarily on a track. It doesn't hurt, I guess. Um, kill switch jammer. No, uh, radar disruptor. That helps a lot when I'm really just trying to get around. So I think I'm going to throw that on there. Uh, that's really it for the customization of this i don't have the ultimates unlocked yet as i haven't done the high heat races but i've unlocked basically everything else except the uh, gara i believe it is at level 50 which i'll more than likely have by the you know end of today um so we're just gonna get on a paint now um i don't know what i want to do with that i'm not a huge fan of you know adding decals to the car you know i don't really care for that kind of thing I do like that stock green that it comes with, but I, I don't know. What do they have? I usually like to go with the satin metallic as it just gives that really nice looking color as if it was wrapped. Um, but metallic does look pretty gnarly on this thing. Uh, I think we're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna end up going with metallic gloss. Just looks, you know, not fancy enough for this kind of car. <laughs> Especially with what it's got in it. Um, I do like this purple though. That looks really clean on this. Yeah, I think we're going to stick with that purple. Um, I'm not going to add any decals right now. I'll do that on my own time. Um, I do want to see what the wheels would look like blacked out. Not too bad. No, uh, I think we're going to keep them chrome. It just gives a much cleaner look. All right, so now we can actually test it out for the first time. I'm going to start it. Oh, yeah, this bitch is nasty. The rev limiter is extremely fast. Like, I don't even have time to really, you know, get it into a decent RPM. Yeah, this, this thing is going to be <laughs> ridiculous. All right, so let's take it out on the street and see what kind of damage we can do with it. I don't know what is on my screen. It just says 90 FPS. I don't know if that shows up for you guys, but it's just there and I'm not sure what it is. I Yeah, it looks like it's going to stick for the rest of the video. I'm not at all sure what that is. Let me tab out of my game really quick. All right, so I'm back. It seems as if we've got that issue fixed i don't know what that was about um let me switch my controls over to manual really quick just so we get that full effect yeah this car is it sounds absolutely beautiful let's get it on a straightaway let's do a lift from like a 40 roll i think that'd be that'd be good yeah, we'll get about a 40 roll. We'll hit it. You know, three, two, one. Oh yeah, this <laughs> thing's got some balls on it. Now there's not as much flames as there is with a lot of other cars, but I don't even mind. It's just an absolute monster anyways. Oh yeah. And that turbo flutter just sounds beautiful. Yeah. 
Let's do it from a complete stop without any revs. See how quick it hits 60. Oh yeah, that's ridiculous. We'll do like a... Uh, I don't know, I say like 3,500 to 4,000 RPM launch. Let's see what we're at there. This thing has nothing but grip. It's also all wheel drive, you know, Lamborghinis. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In no time, it hits zero to 60. That is ridiculous. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this car. Um, I, I definitely recommend doing this. You know, you could also have a lot of fun with it. And uh, it's just a monster of a car. Um, I'm already, you know, almost 20 minutes into recording. So I'm not gonna hold you guys any longer. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, I had a lot of fun doing it. And this car is an absolute masterpiece. In my eyes, anyways. It looks beautiful, especially with its wide body on it. Um, you know, let's turn it off. Get the air right on it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, leave a like if you did. Comment down below what you'd like to see me do next. Um, preferably, let me know what car you'd like to see me do an engine swap on. Also, don't forget to subscribe. You know, turn on those notifications. See uh, every video I upload from here on out. Um, this is Seven. Peace out.